really quick, I just want to point out something that I think is really funny. <laughs> because I, Zach I think, made a I think Zach I know I think I know exactly what you're gonna say because I just yeah. saw it. Yeah, Zach made a comment earlier, like, oh, did I remember to change the animation uh -huh. for bits and subscriptions? Uh -huh. he's like, as long as it's he's like, I'm pretty sure it's not Snoop Dogg, so it's totally it fine. isn't, yeah. So no, it's not Snoop Dogg. We instead got the what are they, the furrets? Which is the Pokemon? What are they thing? called? Yeah, 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 yeah. They That's got the furts. Pokemon, but then underneath exactly. them, yep. they also it. still have Blaze it. Yeah, instead so of saying thank you to so and so, it says thank you. Yeah, the Blaze the it. bits the bits also say Blaze it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. I can fix this. I can fix this. Yeah. I do want furrets to have weed. Uh huh. Yo, can you imagine <laughs> a, a fucking stoned furret? I'd be the coolest fucking furret of all time. So uh, I looked up stone furret. <laughs> yeah, and there isn't a stone. There isn't a stone for it. Okay. There is. There is this very funny image that I just found that I'll post in the chat really quick. <laughs> just like I don't know who drew that. <laughs> I thought I thought you were gonna say like, oh, you found like a rock type for it. Uh, no, 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 no. Which I was like, that's just, that's clever. I like that. You know what? I'm gonna change so, the follow just... thing. Furrets should smoke weed. There we go. So if somebody follows in the middle of the stream, it will it'll be still be Phoenix Wright, but it will say thank you to so and so for it should smoke weed. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor professional, Wes. Uh, hello. Uh, professional this week, so you better act like it. Okay. okay. Yes, and sir. our very unserious lawyer, Bridge. What does that mean? You, you got to be goofy this week. I don't know. I'm throwing a curveball. Yeah, you're a goofy boy now. <laughs> oh, that classic He's goofy, so goofy. fridge. Oh my I'm God, so man. goofy. <laughs> I'm so goofy. Chris wants me in Smash. Oh, old oh. save data team joke. Uh, hey, folks, if you I like guess. this and you want to see more of Goofy Bridge, head over to twitch.tv slash save data team. Goofy, uh, we stream this every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern time, but we also stream several nights throughout the week. Uh, including this weekend, where on Sunday, we're going to be playing, not for broadcast, finishing the game with me, Wes, and Chris, uh, which may decide the future of not London. Of fake Britain. Yeah. <clears throat> so be excited for that. I'm actually also, as incredibly long as, excited. As long as, as long as Jeremy Donaldson makes it out alive, I'm, I'm happy. We, we, are, we are gunning <laughs> to bring Jeremy Donaldson back, y'all. Uh, bring him home. And hey, if you want to support us, head over to patreon.com slash save the team, just like the wonderful producers of our channel, including Bandicoot Commando 95, Kadabe, Antiluster, Fulfilla, Sibylla, Halucha, Rick Rat, A73, Jad Wap, Shadow Navi, Dessert Boy Man, Sunayama, Mystic Woody, Burger Bun, HSM, Nicole Les, Kevin Asian, Traveling in a Box, Soapy, Arky, Ern, Snowcat, and Jaco Bell have all done. Wow. Bravo. Also, hey, I'm sorry to Jacob Bell. I didn't. This was your first time getting your name said on the show. I didn't mean to get. Yeah, so you your just, name was literally you illegible. Just, and by illegible, yeah, I, I mean say. impossible to understand. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob uh, Bell, and everybody uh, else. <laughs> I think Zach's voice is going to be stuck up there now. I'm Phoenix oh, Wright. Is it? Is it? Stop shouting in the bathroom. <laughs> oh man, everybody's gonna oh, yeah, stick yeah. around the whole time now. <laughs> oh, I am terribly Don't want sorry. Two hours of that. Uh... <laughs> Our next donation goal is we all just uh, do helium before the stream. That would be pretty so, funny. Uh, just we stream with a giant thing of helium next to us and just do the entire thing in squeaky listen, voice. <laughs> listen, that is one of that is one of the pillars of comedy. There are things that are just like Innately anchors funny. of hilarity. Yeah, oh, and yeah. helium, like people getting hit in the balls, is one. Yeah, and it's true. Breathing in helium and speaking is another. Those are the pillars of comedy. Anyways, let's play this video game. 
so we can feel better about ourselves. <laughs> yeah, we're in court <laughs> finally. I know. Yeah, back to court. Let's go. Take me to court. That's supposed to be a take me to church yeah, reference. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Oh, I see. I guess I should have expected this. I can't believe you're still in the main outfit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty... Uh, here's, a, here's a question. Would they let you change? Yes. Yeah, I mean, they would probably process you into the prison system and get you, like, prison clothes, yeah? So, like, at this point, she would be in prison clothes. You'd be, well, jail clothes. And... Right. And it depends. Uh, okay. I mean, because I mean, I, I guess no one, I guess no one released her on bail. Yeah, so she's, I guess. she's technically been jailed for a month at this point. I can't imagine she's been wearing the same uniform and not been allowed to change once. But I don't know. Yeah, it seems pretty extreme. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's maybe that is the prison uniform as well. Wow. Then the court system in Japanifornia needs serious reform. I didn't, know Victor, know. I didn't know Victor Kudo ran the prison, ran the uh, <laughs> the jail system. Victor Kudo has like no, a fucking. But no, it's it's, it's a unisex outfit. So <laughs> Victor everyone Kudo wears as the pris prison warden, just like. Oh, I come to this God. prison every day. <laughs> For the job of <laughs> <laughs> This prison serves the best coffee. <laughs> oh, I see. I guess I should have expected this. Nobody saw the other guy, huh? <laughs> but he was there when I took the coffee over, sir. The scout's honor. Aggie! God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sorry about that, pal. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Are you doing all right? How you feeling? As if you need to ask either question, sir. Don't let him get you down, Maggie. And don't forget to eat well, okay? Roger. And you! I love Gumshoe. Yes? You, you love me, pal? <laughs> we better square this case away. Got it, pal? Aggie's innocent, you hear? As square as your shoulders. You screw up, then I'll be doing some squaring away myself. <laughs> squaring away some paperwork for your arrest. <laughs> I do love Gumshoe Gumshoe. so much. Gumshoe just pu just punch me in the face, Gumshoe. Good jokes. <laughs> punch me and I'll say thank you for it. <laughs> I think he's serious. <laughs> hey, detective. You're on our side for once, right? Yep. Are you not counting the other six times he was on our side or some yeah, shit like that? It's like literally every case except for maybe the first two. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, definitely not the first two. But like, I mean, he's, he's definitely on our side's case bomb. four and five of the first game. Mm -hmm. Technically three I mean, was the one he saved us from the mafia. So like, I would count that true. one too. But that was more of his job as that. I mean, that was more of his job as a policeman. Like, true, 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 true. It, being on our on our side in the courtroom. Yeah. Definitely four and five. Definitely chase one of the second game because that was also Maggie. Yeah. Yeah, I think I mean, they're just being shitty to Gumshoe. Yeah, they really yeah. are. They're retconning a bunch of stuff so they can be shitty to Gumshoe again. <laughs> so you'll be able to help Maggie out, right? Really? Can you, sir? This seems like a lot of pressure. Uh, uh, of course. I got the situation under control. I've broken the law like five times helping you guys. I mean, what's <laughs> one more, really? <laughs> they apparently the can't first... fire me no matter how hard they try. <laughs> <laughs> they I... fire me, but I just show up the next day and just no one stops me. And I broke into Damon Gant's office that one time, pal, and he explicitly fired me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the first witness on the stand today. If something I say doesn't mesh with the facts, make sure you point it out, all right? Sure. <laughs> okay. Forming a united front today, pal. You get me? I'm going to lie a ton. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't tell you how grateful I am, sir. I've always admired you so much, Detective. Aww. You know I can count on you. Looks like it should all go pretty smoothly today, huh? I can only wish.
Hey, it's my brother's Twin birthday. On the dot. Oh. Ah, happy birthday. Bridges bro Bridges on brother. January 7th. On, on January 7th. <laughs> yeah. The one, the wh- what was the story we had where you got lost at the, the train station? Uh, we we, we yeah, yeah, missed yeah. a train, then nearly missed another train, besides being two hours early for the second train. That's so good. That story was so good. Like, the, the art that people drew for that was yeah, so good to just me. like, Bonita! <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> <clears throat> Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Already with the coffee. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna take a nice shit after this. <laughs> ah, bitter. Mr. Um. Shit, I forget this one's name. <laughs> Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Ah! Boo! What's wrong? Nothing, it's just whenever I addressed you in the previous trial, your response was, You's talking to me? It was a little, well, intimidating. I forgot about this was the whole side plot of this case. No, yeah, no, that, that wasn't was Hey, by me. the way, Judge, that wasn't fucking me. That was the phony Phoenix. Phonix. Jin Yap. It, Jin Yap. It, it wasn't me. Hook, hooked on Phonix. <laughs> I see. So our trusty Phoenix Wright is back with us now, is he? Just, You're really nonplussed about yeah. just learning that there was an imposter in your court a month ago. This seems like, like a huge deal, and you're so laissez-faire like, about it. Oh, so there was someone impersonating you that completely delegitimized <laughs> the trial. Hmm. All right, then. Oh, well, glad that's you're back. That's the strangest thing to happen. You're not wrong, that's which what I, sucks. That's what I'm known for, is my ability to bounce back and work under pressure. <laughs> I hate you, Judge. Our trusty? That's the, part that, that, that's the part that concerns you? <laughs> if anything, that was a compliment. So, Mr. Godot, your opening statement, please. Mr. Trite, whether you're a fake or the real deal... You will find out soon enough through this trial today. But I can already tell you, I'm the real <laughs> Phoenix Wright! That's exactly what the fake Phoenix Wright would say. <laughs> but he would have said it in a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't questioning whether you are Phoenix Wright or not. I was questioning whether you had studied law or not. Okay, you got me on that one. I, I am the real Is Phoenix it? Wright, but I don't know shit about law. Yeah, but Cadeau, isn't your career record 0 and 1? Ooh. Well, I guess I guess if I guess we're kind of the last case 1 and 1. Ooh. Well, well, no, no, he didn't he didn't uh it was pain during that case, during that flashback. Oh. Okay. Then oh, yeah, are true. aren't your career 0 and 1 prosecutor? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I intend to find out. Also, when are you going back to hell? There's no denying it. <laughs> uh, listen, my res- I have a reservation for a week from now, so just give it. <laughs> I'm staying at the Four Seasons Hell. <laughs> Behind that mask is a man who really hates me for some reason or another. I don't know why. As everyone is aware, the court has already given its verdict on this case once. Therefore, I won't stand for irrelevant testimony during this retrial. Or will I stand for a simple repetition of the evidence presented at the last trial? I'm not planning on repeating anything that phony me said. Trust me. Now then, Mr. Godot, please summon your first witness. Oh, hey, it's Gumshoe. (laughs) Let's start with the formalities, shall we? Name and occupation. Witness, state your name for the court. Huh? Oh, sorry, sir. The name's Police Department Detective. Occupation, Dick Jump... Chick, Dick Jump Shoe. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Other way around, Detective. Nope, I legally ah. changed my name, but to Police Department Detective. <laughs> That's Mr. Detective to you, pal. <laughs> <laughs> I worked really hard for that, mister. 
<laughs> and my new career is being a guy is being Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> that's his, also, that's my autobiography. Being Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> I'd read the fuck out of it. Uh, me too. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's uh, such a good autobiography. It's the first autobiography with the pictures included. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. My dick gum shoe is name, and my uh, and my police department detective is occupation. <laughs> anyway, I'm the officer in charge of this case since yesterday, sir. Since yesterday? Yeah, the, the guy who was on the initial investigation is tied up with another case now. It's very. Convenient. I killed the guy on the initial zoom. investigation, so I, I can help. Say, this, so I can help in this one. <laughs> I was gonna say, zoom into that guy in a closet. And he's like, <laughs> he's a little, he's a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> 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 I hope Gumshoe's really got everything under control, for everyone's sake. I see. So. Detect so, police department detective. <laughs> would you outline for? Well, wait. What would it be? It would be so, Dick, police department detective. <laughs> <laughs> would you outline for the court the basic facts of this case? Y yes, sir. The victim's name was Glenn Elg. He was a professional programmer. Who's on the payroll of Blue Screens Incorporated, a local that's company? That's so good. <laughs> yeah, that's the most that's... generic fucking name ever. Oh, I love that, it. that is Chef's Kiss. Beautiful. <laughs> I love that. Blue Screens. <laughs> There's got to be a real company, like tech company, called Blue Screens Incorporated or something, right? Like there has to be, like Blue that's Screens so LLC. Uh, we don't have to look this up right now. I did, and there isn't. That's wild. This is the victim's autopsy report. Court accepts this into evidence, blah, blah, blah. We did this already. <laughs> um, and here are the floor plans of the restaurant. Oh, that's huge. When the incident took place, the victim was sitting right here. The poisoned coffee was brought over to him by the, uh, by the waitress. So I figured Matrix. out. So I figured out why his restaurant's in such bad shape. They There's only four have tables. four tables. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say they, the prices of the food have to be insane for only yeah. that. Even then, you're probably not gonna turn enough tables in a single day. No. To 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 even cover any of your costs. Like hey, I was gonna say, you you can only eat there for ten minutes and then you have to leave. I was I'm... gonna say, yeah, you'd have to turn tables in ten minutes or charge two thousand dollars for a meal. <laughs> I, I have worked in very small New York restaurants. None of them are four tables small. That is way too small. Uh, <laughs> gotta have at least five. Come on. Exactly. <laughs> the waitress being the accused? I, yeah. The victim died from poisoning almost immediately after he took a sip of the coffee. Well, that's really potent poison. At, at the time of the incident... There were two other people in the restaurant. The victim had also just gotten his tooth removed that day. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Flashback to a couple hundred years ago. Uh, just like a hundred years ago. Never mind. <laughs> Shit. Mr. Right. Gene Armstrong. Mr. Gene Armstrong, the owner and chef. That was good. That was a good one. And a regular guy, and a regular guy. <laughs> and a pervert by the name of Mr. Victor Kudo. We're just a couple of regular guys. Yes. <laughs> and the regular by the name of Mr. Victor Kudo. Hmm. It still seems to be very straight, it still seems to be a very straightforward case to me. Victor Kudo killed him. <laughs> but Maggie is not guilty. <laughs> Come, detective. Take up this hammer. Nail the defendant's coffin shut with your own two hands. And my axe. Well then, Detective Gumshoe, let's have your testimony. Uh, yes, sir. There we go. What about the incident? The incident? When the incident took place, the victim was alone at his table, sir. To understand that the guy Glenn Elg 
was listening to the radio at the time. Traces of poison were found in his coffee cup. And what we found was potassium cyanide. That stuff will kill you. <laughs> Packs a punch is what it's... I, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, it did? No, I was shocked okay. that it, it's cyanide that they put in this poison. Holy shit. And uh, it looks like his bird might have had a, some kind of motive. Well, at least they're talking about motive mm. right at the beginning. Instead of bringing it up last minute. Using the dark, aromatic depths of coffee to conceal the poison. I ought to kill her myself. <laughs> Classy lady. The facts of this case seem to be ironclad. Mr. Wright, I would ask you to begin your cross-examination, but... Yes? Please, no intimidation tricks this time around. Is that understood? I already told you that wasn't me. God damn it. <laughs> Judge, gets out to, Judge gets out his pepper spray. <laughs> Credit Wizard did gift the dollar saying, technically, my first time donating to the uh, the PayPal. Just testing to see if this will go towards Al the Somnium goal. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Credit Wizard. Uh, Al is Al is very happy about uh -huh. that. I really, I do really quick want to see what the autopsy report. Okay, potassium cyanide poisoning death was between one thirty and two thirty. Uh, we've seen the floor plans already. Okay, everything else is old news. I feel like this might be a press one. I think it is too. Um, it might just be like press everything and then we move could on. Could be. My I mean, the motive, the, the motive, the motive I mean, the motive one's the biggest one to press. Yeah, let's let's start there, just in case. We found potassium cyanide, it packs a punch. Uh, looks like Miss Bird might have had some kind of motive. Some kind of motive? Some kind of motive. Some kind of motive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But if you ask me, it's been blown way out of proportion. <laughs> you know what my golden rule is, Detective? Something stupid. Chuck out a, chuck out a bad cup of coffee. You can always get another. Yeah, something stupid. <laughs> you got uh, it, Zach. You were right on the money, Zach. It was something stupid. <laughs> something stupid. <laughs> huh? I don't get it. I'm saying we can always get another witness on the stand if we have to chuck you out. Oh. So stick to the facts, detective. Now then, what was Miss Bird's motive? Come on, gumshoe. Lie like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> she was... They say she wanted to steal a lottery ticket. I knew it. That's what we heard yesterday, too. It disappeared from the scene of the crime. So, uh, it wasn't... <clears throat> this is one thing I thought that was kind of funny. So, what what they're trying to claim is that, you know, once she heard that he won the lottery, uh -huh. she poisoned him. Exactly. But does that mean the restaurant just has potassium cyanide lying around? Yeah, that's a good point. Or she routinely carries potassium cyanide? I think, yeah, I think they did find, like, some potassium cyanide in her pocket. But yes, Bridge, that would imply that they expect her to have carried around this potassium cyanide right, at again, any this, given this, this, moment. This, right, this couldn't have been a pre-planned murder because she had no idea about the lottery ticket. Which means she heard he won, then's like, oh shit, gotta find some poison. Luckily, Armstrong just has potassium cyanide lying thank, around. Thank God we always have this spare poison. <laughs> Like, again, yeah, if it was, like, rat poison, and, you know, he had that in the restaurant, right. like, you know, I can believe there's some toxic, you know, cleaning substance in a restaurant. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I just, I just don't know, I, I, I don't know if potassium cyanide is, like, found in anything that's not directly intended to murder people. I do wonder how much, chat, someone can tell me this, how much rat poison does it take to kill somebody? Because I feel like it's got to take a decent yeah. amount. We're, we're, at, we're asking for a friend. No, <laughs> don't phrase it like that. 
<laughs> also, Chad, if you do Google that, you will be on the NSA watch list. Yeah, don't so. actually do that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I look ghostly paladin. I'm not Googling that. Yeah, we, we just tricked you all to getting onto a list. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay. So who I can tell, potassium cyanide is used in the extraction of gold and silver from ores, in electroplating and steel hardening, and as a fumigant. So pretty low chance a restaurant's going to have it in liquid form. Yeah, yeah. Or even a or even a solid form that dissolves. Yeah. So uh, pretty low chance that she would have access to potassium cyanide inside a restaurant. And it wasn't just any lottery ticket. It was a winning ticket for half a million. Mr. Armstrong knew about the ticket too, didn't he? But he stole the wrong one. Again, this is not proof that he didn't try to kill the person. It's so wild that that's what they're trying to say is like, well, he stole yeah. the wrong ticket, so clearly he didn't have malicious intent. Then is it possible that Maggie stole the winning one? What should I do? Should I press on this point a little harder or not? Yeah, press it. We gotta Come find on. out. We gotta, we gotta find Pretty out whether or not she did. She, the ticket was planted on her or something. Wait a minute. The mere fact that the lottery ticket disappeared in no way implicates my client. Huh. I have here in my hand the very ticket in question. That's the half a million dollar lottery ticket. That's a huge. Uh, deal. Can you submit that as evidence? <laughs> yeah, so I can look to at it me, a please. <laughs> uh, and then I'm just gonna call a, a little a half hour recess. <laughs> no reason. I, I gotta go to the bathroom. I had chilies last night. And, ooh, it's a big one. <laughs> Mr. Wright, can what? I use your bathroom in your office? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I still haven't cleaned it since last time. No, please, Your Honor. <laughs> oh, yeah. And when you're done, can I use it? No. No. <laughs> My please. <laughs> One of the female police officers found it when she was conducting a search of the defendant. Okay, that's pretty bad for us. What? That was the plot twist I saw coming. Order. Order. She's quite a lucky bird, our little waitress. Hey, I get it. That's her name. Yeah, that's good. You will submit that ticket as evidence to the court immediately. Hmm. He's doing it. I better keep an eye on that ticket, the way the judge's voice is quivering. Yeah. Hell good, yeah. Good. Again, I love it when we predict a joke that game's going to be. got to steal it. Okay. This ticket was presented to the court in the previous trial, too. Oh, Why are you so almost... surprised about it? And I almost <laughs> stole it then, too. <laughs> I mean, uh, submitted it as evidence. <laughs> but it feels heavier now, somehow. Half a million dollars, you say? It's just a scrap of paper. Did you not know it was worth half a million dollars last time? I guess uh, not. I... So I wasn't really paying attention last time. <laughs> Clearly, I had I had I had my AirPods in. I was listening to a podcast on my Zoom. Zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I was listening to my Zoom with my Zoom <laughs> pods. <laughs> now the, the judge wouldn't have. He would. He wouldn't have a Zoom. He'd have a. a he would actually have a, an iPhone. <laughs> Yeah, he would have he would have an iPhone in this alternate universe where Zune beat the iPhone. He would still have yeah. an iPhone. Yeah, he has the iPhone. He has an iPod. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, that's fine. That's good. Uh, what matters is where it was found, Your Honor. I bet he wants to say it was found on Maggie's person. They just didn't they just establish they that? They did just establish that. Do you really think there are any contradictions in this testimony? To be honest, I don't know. But Gumshoe told us out in the lobby. He said we'd be forming a united front, right? How will we win the case if he doesn't throw us a line? Yeah, but we're not storming the beaches of Normandy, Maya. Like, I don't have a whole <laughs> lot of options right now. 
Best I can do is gather the facts together, I guess. Why was that the Best first place your mind the went, Zach? Of Normandy. Uh, United Front. I, I, I see that. I see yeah, that. World okay. War II. The Axis allies. Like, come on. <laughs> Forming United Front. I mean, United Front just usually describes any alliance. That's true. We'll that's up, true. Like, United Front. But it was the the Great War, Bridge. Actually, I think that was World War One. No, that was World War One. Yeah. yeah, World War One was the Great War, or the war, or the war to end our wars. And then plot twist. And then there was another war, <laughs> less than thirty years. Which was a take, oh no! Which was a take. Which was a name that didn't age well. Yeah, they yeah, really. They, they, we historians, never... as soon as they, as soon as they named it World War Two, historians were like, "Oh, come on!" <laughs> We did all this work publicizing the first one. <laughs> all this publicity gone to waste. Uh, now we'll never be able to make a World War One movie as good as a World War Two movie. Well, we did get a new piece of evidence out of this. Found it during a body search of Maggie. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that does. I don't know if that gets us anything. I mean, I would think. No, I mean, at the end of their side, at the end of their, I mean. It's like we just gotta gather the facts here. So I'm assuming this has gotta be a press, a press everything. Yeah. A press moment. Okay. Press. Yeah. Press Gumshoes testimonies usually are, to be honest. Yeah. Can I just stop you for a minute? Huh? What is it? Did I say something that contradicts the evidence? He's so desperate for that to be true. He's practically crying, like a baby. Your testimony <laughs> just now doesn't match the testimony given by Mrs. Bird. She claims that there was another man at the victim's table. Mrs. Table. Bird. <laughs> Sorry, I always fucking, I fu always fuck up Miss and Mrs. Miss Bird. She claims that there was another man at the victim's table. Yeah, that's what she said. And but Killer wouldn't say that when faced with a homicide conviction. Hey. Sadly, her testimony isn't supported by the owner or the other customer. Isn't that right, Detective Gumshoe? Yeah, it's true. The two testimonies tie up on that. They both said there was no other guy at the table. Hmm. What should I do? Should I press on this point a little harder or not? Yes, do it. Oh, okay. I mean, I didn't think they were going to give us a press thing on this very I mean, innocuous sure. statement. Well, maybe the other witnesses just missed him. Perhaps their view of the victim's table was obscured in some way. Huh. That argument is as weak as the coffee at Trebien, trite. Uh. I have here in my possession a ticket. A ticket? To ride? Looks more like a photo to me. Looks more like a photo to me! Yes, a one-way ticket to Guiltyville. Population... The defendant. Okay, that's actually an amazing line. No notes, 10 no, out of 10. That's a the fucking fact... terrible line. No, that's immaculate. That's so fucking lazy. Fridge Guilty is so Bill? good. It's so good. Guilty Bill? It's the so fact good. that he says it makes it 10 yeah. out of 10. This is, oh, it's this is so bad. This, is, this, you know what? Godot saying Guilty Bill, he's fucking, he's fucking Guy Fieri. Flavortown. Wow. He even I has mean, a goatee. Guy Fieri's hair. Yeah. And the hair. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, Is Godot twist. actually that's Guy Fieri? Is that's he Mr. Fieri? The whole thing. <laughs> I love this. Uh... <laughs> Criminals, courtrooms, and crimes with Godot Fieri. Oh, that's good. That's good. This is a photograph taken from near the entrance to the cri to the Christian. The Christian. This this is the scene as witnessed by the chef, almost after the poisoning took place. Correct. I think the court will agree that with such a clear view of the scene of the crime. How, Mr. Trite, could anyone have overlooked a second person at the table? Uh. I don't know, from the giant fucking screen in between the tables? Yeah, man. Maybe Idiot. they're very small. <laughs> it certainly seems to show the victim's table extremely clearly. It was Pearl! The darling <laughs> daughter Pearl. <clears throat> 
Okay, okay. Well, I get, we got another piece of evidence just from pressing that. I do feel like it is time to press everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, oh, yeah, that's cool. We got that, though. Oh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look at that a bit more. Oh, sorry. Dun, dun, dun. I mean, you really can't see. It's so, it is extremely believable to say that somebody was, like, out yeah. of sight. Which is kind of wild to me. Oh, so they like, say Armstrong took this picture? Uh, just take it no, from I, the kitchen. No, I don't think he did. Uh, I think that a cop took it. Yeah, it would be it would be very wild for Armstrong. No, to but like, they said they said it was like immediately after, though, right? Because hmm. if a cop took it, that's easily enough time for any number of people to arrive or leave. Chat, let us know if we're crazy. Sure. I could have sworn they said something about Armstrong taking the picture. Uh, <clears throat> he was listening on his radio, you say? Yeah, he had a portable radio in his chest pocket. Becky told us that too, didn't she? Something about how one of them had some sort of earpiece. What should I do? Should I press on this point a little harder or not? Yeah, okay. Everything yeah, is pressed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is a really... Wow. They, they, they it, just, like, realized they didn't give us enough evidence during the investigation segment. Exactly. So they just have to, like, Which is fuck wild, us. because it was a long investigation segment. Yeah, so they just fucking sort of make us have to do this shit, which is pretty frustrating. <laughs> they, had to, they had to make time for all the sexy maid outfit jokes, oh, guys. Oh, yeah, right. Come on. And what was it that the victim was listening to on the radio, Detective Gumshoe? Huh? How should I know? Was listening to save data. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> now we're one step closer to the middle of nowhere. He was listening step to closer it. to any town. He was listening to the radio where they said it's almost Christmas. <laughs> this isn't going very well, is it? Detective, could you perhaps tell us about the poison and how it was used? Okay. Traces of poison were in the coffee cup. So, traces of the poison were found in the coffee cup and nowhere else. I sure I get you, pal. Was the poison a liquid or was it a powder? If I had to put it in layman's terms, I'd say it was a powdery substance. You could just say it's a powder. You you could just say it's a powder. So the poison could have been in anything that was on the table. Salt, sugar, pepper. Sugar, spice, everything nice. Chemical <laughs> X. <laughs> That's the thing. No, Glenn L didn't die. He just turned into a power puff girl. <laughs> Power Puff Girls! Blossom, Bubbles, Buttercup, and Glenn, Glenn L. L. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, you put salt and pepper in your coffee, trite? <laughs> the victim took his coffee black with no sugar. Uh. It seems that the poison could only have been in the coffee. What should I he do? He took his coffee black, no sugar, but he did ask for cyanide if he put in it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> the food was so bad. This wasn't actually a murder. He just asked for cyanide in his coffee because <laughs> he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? Should I press on? Yes. Okay. Sorry. No. Press everything, Phoenix. Are you absolutely certain that the victim even drank any of his coffee? Huh? What do you mean? According to this file, the poison was found in the victim's coffee cup. But what proof is there that the victim ever drank any of it? That's such a bad, like, Phoenix. They, they did a fucking autopsy report, you dingus. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, now that I think of In case you were wondering, the last that last objection was for the detective there. Huh? To me? Uh, why does his coffee look so gray? <laughs> why do they not color it so it actually looks like coffee? coffee yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, you're right. You may be fooling the court, but I'm not falling for it. 
If you have the time to waste, you have the time to present that that piece of evidence. <laughs> that piece, sir? That piece? Yes. That the one piece. piece? Not that piece. <laughs> um. <laughs> what piece was it again? Gaio, Gaio. Also, Godot, prosecutors present evidence, not witnesses. So if you fucking... Ah! Should I be grateful this coffee's only hot enough to give me first degree burns? <laughs> uh, y'all, first degree burns all over your face? Still pretty fucking bad. Yeah, terrible. Yeah, what? No, that's not good. What? Oh. Now I remember. Also, why are you throwing at me? Yeah, like... Um, <laughs> this is the uh, victim's coffee cup. Yes, the victim's cup. Take a good look at the rim. Ew. It has his lipstick on it. There's a brown stain on the rim. I hate you so much. God damn it. <laughs> Instant horny jail. <laughs> oh, yes. It's unmistakable. There is clearly a coffee stain on it. Hmm. Whose job was it to look at this rim? Your proctologist? <laughs> that was good. That was good. That was good. Conclusive proof that the victim did drink the poisoned coffee that was in this cup. The victim gulped down the bitter death that the waitress brought to him. Like this! <laughs> you know that dies. And for added and for added realism, I added poison to this coffee. <laughs> For the record, the only prints on the cup were the victims and the defendants. Well, fuck. Upon further investigation of this cup, we found a certain chemical substance. Was it Chemical X? That's enough. The facts of this case seem overwhelmingly clear to me. The defendant had ample opportunity to convict the crime of which she is charged. Furthermore, it seems beyond reasonable to doubt that she did indeed commit this crime. It seems beyond reasonable doubt. I like an old man who knows the score. There's also the matter of... Wait, did you just say old? <laughs> There's also I'll fucking the matter kill you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a spring chicken! There's also the matter of the half a million dollar lottery ticket, which, oh no, it's gone. <laughs> what could have happened? Bailiff, search the courtroom. Oh, what happened? <laughs> I'll be in my office to hide from the thief that's in the court. <laughs> God damn it. That alone provides a very credible motive. I mean, for that sum of money, even I might be tempted to bend the rules. <laughs> okay. I don't mind an old man who is weak to the siren call of money. What? Not good, Nick. The evidence against Maggie is starting to pile up fast. Yeah, that's because the court has ruled guilty once already. That's not why. I'd say it's about time to wrap up this repeat performance. With one final decisive piece of evidence. He's got more evidence against Maggie? This is the apron that the delightful Miss Bird was wearing at the time. Ow. Oh, that's not the cleanest apron I've seen. That stain looks like... It can't be blood, can it? I mean, he wasn't stabbed. He yeah, was what? poisoned. So why is there <laughs> blood on it? <laughs> Wait, what? I mean... Uh, ignore this piece of evidence. No, uh, it's clearly <laughs> irrelevant. It's marinara <laughs> sauce, you idiot. <laughs> they were making it a pizza. <laughs> a French <Mama> pizza. <laughs> or as they call it, a beats. <laughs> a peas. Uh, huh. It seems the star of our play was a little flustered. And somehow spilled coffee on herself. The 
the coffee? That's not exactly the first thing that <laughs> caught my eye. Of course. The coffee stain isn't the most interesting thing about this apron. No, there's something else that stands out even more. Something else? I presume you mean... The lace. Of course. <laughs> it's so frilly. <laughs> of course. I'm referring to the pocket. The, oh, they made the joke for us. The pocket? The search carried out right after the incident uncovered this. Potassium cyanide. The very poison used by the killer was in her apron pocket. A bottle of poison in Maggie's pocket? Yeah, and Maggie's prints were the only ones on it. What? Wow, she really did kill this guy. Yeah, this is not looking good. <laughs> Order! 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 The court will accept these items into evidence. Okay, that's pretty not good. <laughs> also, Jacob Bell, that's very funny. He's cyanide. Funny, funny way, way to, to spell, spell curare. curare. <laughs> <laughs> There's something still bothering me, Mr. Godot. Why have you not explained the blood stain to the court? Because it's inconvenient for my case. <laughs> blood stain? What blood stain would that be? <laughs> oh, that's right! Yeah. I forgot about this point of the game. Uh huh. Don't play games, prosecutor! The blood colored stain that's smeared all over the apron! That's ridiculous. No one told me anything about a blood stain. You don't need to be told. Just look at it. Well, detective, could this stain really be blood? <laughs> no way, sir. It's it's just ketchup, sir. Ketchup. She must have gotten some on her apron while she was while taking someone their breakfast that day. Could have spoken up a little sooner, Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> Pull a stunt like that again, and I'll have you drink seventeen cups of ketchup, witness. That's so gross! Oh my god, <laughs> that's the worst thing I've ever heard. Uh, I mean, listen, I <laughs> like the ketchup. ketchup. <sighs> I don't know if I'd want to drink seventeen cups of ketchup. Uh, I thought everyone knew what it was already. I haven't seen anything yet to make me doubt the last verdict I ruled on this case. <sighs> the motive, the opportunity, and the supporting evidence they have all been clearly established. Well, Trite, seems you really are a phony after all. Uh, you really know how to drive a man nuts! <laughs> That's a weird My line. brain... My brain read like, you really know how to kick a man's nuts. <laughs> that's Yanni Yogi. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, no, that's true. No, he, slaps... no, he doesn't kick. He only uses his hands. And he only slaps the pee, -pee not the balls, because they like because it. they like <laughs> it. <laughs> Witness, please continue with your testimony. Describe for the court the crime scene and the findings of your investigation there. And we're getting two sections of gumshoe? I'm shocked. 